Well, uh, here's something that can directly have an impact on our lives as far as the bleeding rupee is concerned. Well, it means trouble for Indian tourists traveling abroad as well as businessmen. It's also giving nightmares to students who are hoping to study abroad. For Pune's Pranav Jadav, a second-year communication student in the U.S., the rupee's downfall has been a terrible blow. The higher exchange rates means he has to shell out an additional 50,000 rupees per semester as his tuition fee. Living expenses have also risen by at least 10,000 a month. Most of the nationalized banks, they have a policy of uh, and a, uh, maximum limit of loan is 20 lakhs and they don't give about 20 lakhs for uh, students studying abroad, you know, education loans for students studying abroad. Now this is quite a small amount. Visa restrictions mean students like Pranav also cannot work more than 20 hours a week part-time. The minimum wage is paid for a student worker which is 7.25 and that is only, that only suffices my rent over there. So the other amount has to be paid by the parents. Expenses for students studying in the West has increased considerably and the rising costs have made many opt for cheaper Southeast Asian universities. Overseas education advisors say there has been an estimated 10 to 15 percent decline in overall inquiries to study abroad. The number of people going in for education loans is also on the decline. Recession in the foreign markets has made it very difficult to get jobs abroad, one of the main aims of studying overseas. Industry watchers say that with the rising costs, it could very well mean that many more people could opt for studying in India itself.